Hi guys, it's Matt here from Max on UK and welcome to another R19 feature video. In this one we're going to look at the new level of detail object that we get in Cinema 4D. So, as you can see from the example, we've got the ability of manipulating the level of detail visible in different objects um, with this new level of detail machine. So, depending on you know the variety of different factors that we want, it allows for speedier editor viewing, certainly within animations and things like that. So the computer isn't processing large amounts of power for objects that it are you know really small on the screen. Not only that, this feature has the wonderful added bonus that this level of detail thing can be exported in an FBX and imported into games engines, which means that you can set up your level of details and the objects that you wish it to transform in between using Cinema 4D and then put it in your favorite game engine. So let's just have a quick look at how we can set this up. Now I've got this sculpt object here and sometimes sculpt objects can slow your scene down depending on how much detail is in them and you have to lower the amount of detail by going through the layers here. And now imagine what it'd be like if you could use those layers as levels of detail and scroll between them depending on how close your camera is to it. Well now you can. So. Once you've got your sort of finished object, what I'm going to do is just separate it down into each of its individual levels. Okay, so you can see I now have each layer sort of level of the amount of sculpt detail. So there's quite a few layers there. I won't need all of those to kind of work my way through for this example. I'll only use a couple. So I'm just going to go to my objects and I'm going to um, just hide my main sculpt object there. So I've got my layer 0 and then I'm and layer 6 is going to be useful and I think I'll have 3 so I'm just going to get rid of 1 2 4 and 5 then I'm going to select all of those and I'm just going to make sure that they are all in the same position because that's going to be useful for us in a minute and then I want to wow that's un, uh, unattractive isn't it so then I want to put them into our new level of detail there we go Okay, so they're now in our level of detail. And now the level of detail works for the objects here and it depends on which one you've got first. So I just need to make sure that six is the high detail, three is next, so that you can control how close, um, how much detail there is as you move further and closer, um, closer and further away. So if we use the children group, which gives us our nice control there. We can change our criteria, which I really quite like, to camera distance. And there you go, you can control how close and far away you are. So you, let's bring us, you know, in directly to our, you know, to our camera. So let's say our minimum distance is going to be wherever we are now, say 500, and our maximum distance is, say, 2,500. Okay, so as we move further, uh, move our way out, you can see that our object decreases and increases in its you know, levels of detail, which is really, really useful for us. And you can control just how much, you know, if that was, you know, took too long or not long enough, then you can just use these sliders to manipulate where that cutoff point is. So you can see that between those two distances where that camera is, it disappears quite fast. So maybe we only want, there we go, we've got some good levels of detail as we get in that close. Maybe we only want that to pop in when it's you know relatively close like we are now. And now if we do it, we've got the ability of using those sculpt layers quite nicely to move our way in between. Okay, that's a really useful feature um, for Cinema 4D's level of detail. There are a whole load of other settings as well that you can work. So level of detail, you can do children's where you have three different layers or different levels of object. You know, you can have simplified it with a variety of different things, maybe the new polygon reduction tool, for example. Um, or you can go for a real simplify mode and it only uses one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hide that and then I'm going to unhide our main sculpture and then I'm going to add a new level of detail object 
okay and I'm going to use the level of detail simplify and this time you so say you've got level of details and again I'm going to use uh, camera distance and I'm going to change it so that it moves to just constant shading so you can control where that is just by using the control click and you can give yourself other levels of detail so as you move in you know oh, you know you can see that it changes you know depending on what we have set in here so if we wanted ground shading lines here uh, sorry ground shading and then maybe quick shading then constant shading and then just lines we can move our way through once you've set your you know minimum and maximum distance so again so let's say 250 or say 500 and then our maximum distance 2550 and then as we work our way through you can see that we go from quick shading uh, ground shading to quick shading I mean you could also if you wanted um, change the how it actually looks you know it's sort of whether it's um, full object or you could go for something called they call decimated and what decimated does is it slowly gets rid of polygons um, depending on how many polygons you have there so if I just work my way back into that one there you go you can see that we are slowly getting rid of polygons so it's now 64% decimated and you can see that it really is starting to disappear from our screen completely another really useful feature of the level of detail is the camera clipping and that means that you can limit the number of things that your computer is processing using the camera clip you can see here that whilst my camera shows the view of everything that I need on my screen what's actually being created is only what's in that camera's field of view so if you move your camera whilst you know the main viewport looks like it's unaffected it's only dealing with a few clones and it's really easy to set up so just with a new file and I'm going to create myself a cube okay and then I'm going to create myself my level of detail object put my cube in there and then I'm just going to enable camera clip now at the moment it's not going to do anything so it, let me just create myself a cloner object and then put the level of detail in there and then if we just make that cloner object um, a grid array so let's just make that 10 by 1 by 10 Ooh, by 1 okay and then just spread those out a tad okay if I just go to my several views create myself a camera you can see instantly okay that we've got that single field of view depending on what it's being created to make sure that it's operating with your camera you need to ensure that you look through it and there we go otherwise it will just use the standard editor one so now if I was to just move around that you can see that it affects that instead okay another really and useful little feature of the level of detail in R19 I will catch you in the next feature video